Yo guys, what is going on? It is your boy Nick from On The Foot Market. Guys, I have a new video for you all today in which we're going to talk about the team of the match day cards. Um, it's something that is new to Ultimate Team. I talked about like this potentially coming out with Festival of Football, and if you guys followed along with the Festival of Football video, you would have known that we were going to get this uh, on Wednesday. This is really good for Ultimate Team. Um, and I'm hoping that they continue with the progressions of this. Obviously, last Wednesday, um, they released a bunch of those SPC cards for the nationalities. And there's still some nations missing. So maybe we're going to get more of those. But again, it's new content here um, on Ultimate Team, which is great because, like, I've been waiting for it. And, you know, there's not that much to do for me on World Cup mode. And, and it's good to just have refreshing things and, and new kind of cards. And especially, you know, the card design. I'm not a big fan of it, but it's new card design, right? There's new things going on. So I definitely think, and that is a really cheap Ronaldo. That's actually like very flippable. I saw that sell at 2.5 million, I want to say earlier. Um, but nonetheless, what I wanted to do today is just talk about each of these cards individually. Now, they're going to have this be coming out every week, basically every kind of match week. So the World Cup, I think it spans across seven days um, or just about that for all the matches. And they're going to release it. I'm assuming they're going to release one after everybody plays their second match after everyone plays their third match so these players were all selected based off of based off of their first match performances right so that's how ea chose them and i'm honestly really happy with how they did this guys like really happy um and here is why let's show you i want to show you guys an example of isco right because because they did it like this right i've i packed isco's team in this season untradeable um, and I got that through an untradeable pack, but I had his PTG and I think his PTG was an 88 rated before by the way Does anybody else think this is sick that his hand comes off? Like I feel like that's so sick um, But anyways, I'm, I'm super into dynamic images. I'm sorry about that But I, I feel like this is really good um, For ultimate team just due to the fact that look, look I mean look at this upgrade, right? You have his team of the season and, and naturally in FIFA team of the seasons are always higher um, than any other card. It's just always the team of the season trumps everything. It's always been like that, except in a case of team of the year, um, where sometimes the team of the years will always be higher. But nonetheless, any other special card outside of team of the year, team of the seasons are always um, the ones that are higher. So for me, this is a really good sign uh, moving forward just uh, through the next few weeks of the World Cup because we know that while we track these players' performances, we're rooting for them. We actually want them to do well, and we want the bigger players to play well because we know that EA could be looking into making a lot of these players a little bit more overpowered. And I'm going to show you guys some examples um, later on, and I've got to get on another video for you guys and talk to you guys more specifically about PTGs because we will talk about that in a little bit. But I had his untradeable PTG today. I didn't even realize until I hopped on FIFA. Um, I, I like didn't even realize that Isco was in this team, and I don't know why I didn't realize. But the best thing about it is that his card is a left wing, right? So EA boost his pace up a little bit, but obviously the PTG doesn't change positions while it gets an upgrade. Um, so I was really excited about that. And I think for me, that brings a lot of hype to this promo, right? Knowing that Coutinho is going from an 87 rated to a 92 rated. I mean, that's just like, for me, that's freaking amazing. Um, and I was really happy to see it. Um, and, and I think that that's great for this promo. Now, we're going to go through these cards one by one, and I just want to talk about them. Now, I don't think EA is going to be doing a lot of lightning rounds. I think there was a lightning round today, and I think there may be one tonight. But outside of that, for the lightning rounds, and lightning rounds are important to know if they're happening or not because it's a mass supply of packs, meaning that there's going to be more supply on the market for that given time. Time, And let me tell you, ladies and gentlemen, there is ways to make coins right now. I've been making coins all week, got back into that. Um, there hasn't been great ways to make coins last weeks, and I know a lot of people blew their loads on World Cup packs with coins. So follow along with the channel, guys, because we're going to have a lot of videos for you guys in the next few weeks. to can help you guys build your coin stashes back up if that's something you're interested in doing. Um, obviously, things like this and the Festival of Football promo is good for the market, right? Because you're getting people to open packs with points. People open packs with points, more coins out of the market, right? So this guy on the bench, I'm not really looking at. I'm just going to, guys, I'm going to get straight to the point with you guys today. This dude, I'm not really looking at his investments. Here are the reasons uh, why they could be decent investments down the line. And in terms of buying, maybe buy before Friday or Saturday. I wouldn't go crazy like buying 100 of these guys. But I would genuinely look into potentially picking up um, anywhere from one of one to two of each of these kind of more, more discard cards. I mean, they're all 87 through 90 kind of rated. So they're not going to be much more than less than 20k. Um, but picking up maybe one or two of these and just putting them in your club, I think weekly rewards tomorrow is going to be a very good time for a lot of you guys to, to get in with these purchases. Um, but because I think there's a potential that you might be getting a repeatable SBC. I don't know. But if there were to be a repeatable SBC, I would assume it would require a team of the match day, um, 
a team of the match day card. Um, so that's something as well. Obviously, Golovin, uh, Finn Bogassan. A lot of you guys are going to ask me what is the best time to buy these cards. Um, look, I think they're going to all go up to, for the Weekend League. Um, because they just changed the Weekend League back to no nations anymore, a lot of those investments sunk, and people are going to be able to kind of spread around throughout multiple nations. So I think you're going to see a rise in a lot more, you know, I think you're going to see a rise in a lot of these players as well because a lot of these players are freaking usable. And I think a lot of people are going to want to try them out, spice it up, put a new, you know you know how it is, guys. Put a put a nice looking little card in your team. So I think that's something that that could be happening um, uh, for this weekend league. So, I mean, it's it's Golovin, it's Finn Bogassin, it's it's Galat, Gal, Galardo, I don't know how to say his name. Um... Hal Dorson, I can't say some of these guys' names. None of those guys I'm really looking at his investments. Now, this dude is interesting to me, and I don't know if he really compares against a lot of Team of the Season cards, and he is very overpriced right now. Like, I, I would probably buy him around 25 or 30K if he ever goes there. Playing in the Bundesliga is very good. Um, Nationality-wise, it's a very good sign, right? That's always really good um, for investments. It's kind of like you go to the Premier League, then it's the La Liga, and then it's kind of like the Bundesliga um, with the Calcio A, like maybe the Calcio A is in front of it in terms of, you know, you could, you could put your own order, but it's definitely a top four league. I think I would not top four in real life, but top four investment wise, I would say. Um, so this dude is interesting to me because of the statistics he has. He is six foot four with high, high work rates, six, four, um, with those kind of in-game stats is pretty crazy. So keep your eye on him. I think low thirties you look for Aaron Moy is going to be a highly requested player today that I know you guys want to know about. And currently he's about 150 K. I mean, check out his supply. It's absolutely nothing. Um, I think this dude is going to be thrown in a lot of weekend league squads. He's in the Premier League. Um, he's got a four-star weak foot. Everyone knows how his 84 rated inform plays. If you haven't played with it, it's absolutely phenomenal. Um, I played over, I don't even know, I don't want to know how many games I played with it. It was too many. It was like in the two or 300 range. It was so, so good. Um, and the in-game styles, obviously you look at them and they're just absolutely ridiculous. It's the perfect, uh... Perfect left or right center mid in a 4-1-2-1-2. He does the job in the 4-3-2-1. He's basically going to do everything. He can score the ball. He can defend. He can run box to box. Kind of like a little Angolo Conte feeling kind of card. So this is going to be a card that I think investment-wise, we got to totally look into. The price tag, I don't know because I don't want you guys to go buy. And this market is so volatile that it's flying up and down every day we go on. However, I would say... I think it's going to go up for this weekend league. I do. It's very rare right now. I would say maybe you guys look at buying this card during rewards tomorrow um, and seeing if it goes up in the 24 hours following that. And then you sell that just to, just to be safe and you want to hold it past the weekend. I do like the thought of Aaron Moy being as an investment. And he's one of my more favorite players in this team. Romelu Lukaku is very interesting because now this is the best version of Lukaku. Again, another player that EA had decided to trump their team in the season card, which for me obviously makes me very happy. It, it brings a certain level of enjoyment, I think, to the game at least. So this is very good um, for FIFA and all that kind of stuff. But best version of Lukaku, four-star weak foot, obviously great, great stats. Um, investment at 450k? No, I would not buy at 450k, but just watch it. I mean, look, right now the problem is not a lot of people have coins. So I don't think people are going to be buying the big boys. They're going to be buying the OP Aaron Moyes, things like that. I think that that's what people are really focusing on their team. And I think within the Premier League, you just have too many uh, striker options at the up there i just don't like it um i'm not crazy about it you guys know i'm honest with you guys when i don't like something i'm gonna tell you guys straight up how it is summer saw him at 30k earlier thought it was really low he's kind of hanging around there the goalie options are crazy this year there's so many good goalies you don't you don't need to invest in that this guy is very interesting earlier i saw him at 20,000 coins i think he's gonna be basically a discard about 20 20 000 and 19 000. i think if he just goes there you swoop him up obviously he's playing in the russian league and he's not a great center back um in fifa terms so i don't think you're looking at him as like a crazy investment um and moving on to jimenez uh again i i don't know if i love this um i would love to see like a guy like veron get this um but jimenez is not terrible by any means um and it's i think he's got his medium high he's medium high so he's 6-1 it's not a bad card man i, I don't know i'm not gonna go investing because it's not gonna number one in a team but it's an interesting one diego costa to me seems very overpriced i don't know that might just be me and i'm not a diego costa hater um, Diego Costa seems overpriced to me. I would let him drop down a little bit. Some of these dudes are still a little overpriced. Kolarov looks absolutely phenomenal. And I think within the left backs in the Serie A, um, who do you have? I don't even remember. I think Kolarov got the team of the season. And this is now two ratings better than his team of the season. So keep your eye on this card. Just as an investment, you guys know how Resilion went up for that one weekend league. Just kind of as one of those things where if people are using that kind of player in their team, it may be one of those things that just goes up. But I think it's got more room to go down before it goes up. Again, Cherry Chef is very similar for me, like Granquist. Um, I think it's gonna, I think it's gotta go lower, but I think it's more of the, one of those discard guys. 
Philip Coutinho is very, very interesting to me. This is a Cam Coutinho. People love Coutinho, and it's finally usable. He's four star, four star, high, high work rates, outstanding in game stats. Um, this is a highly in demand card being Brazilian, playing for Barcelona. This is a card that I don't know if I see it going that much under 300,000. So I think you got to look at it. I know earlier it was 340. Now it looks like, or appears he's rather, he's 380 ish. Maybe he's going to settle around the 400 range. Let that drop a little bit more. You can see by its market supply, there's only five. But on PS, there's probably 10 to 15. Let it drop down a little bit more. It's probably what I'm going to tell you guys about a lot of this team. Here's what I will tell you, though. Watch prices during rewards tomorrow. If they start dropping too much, you guys are going to know. And you guys should get involved because there is going to be an opportunity to flip. This is a card that I think a ton of you guys want to know about. And this is Chucky Lozano. Obviously, he's got the 99 pace now, the 94 shooting. He is on the left side and he is a righty, which is... Not a problem, but it's different. His team of the season card is a right winger. It's an 89 rated. I have it in my club. I do own it. Um, while this card is better, I think that position change is not favorable for that as there are a lot of left mids in this game. You've got Cristiano Ronaldo. You've got Neymar. You've got so many elite left wings that I don't know. So I feel like, guys, his team of the season is 80 or 90K. This is 370K. I can't tell you this is a good buy. There's no way on planet Earth I'm going to sit here and tell you guys that this is a reasonable buy. It's just overpriced. There's too much... There's way too much in it. I don't like it. Um, I would stay away and I would let that thing drop down, man. Get it in the lower 200. That's got room to go. Harry Kane is really low already because he's got two higher cards. So I would stay away just because with Harry Kane, you have too many options. Cristiano Ronaldo is interesting because he's got the 97 rated uh, card. And that card's about 1.3. And then his team of the season is actually a lot better, even though it's only one overall better. It's got 97 pace, 99 shooting. So I would expect this to still drop down. I would say a fair price for this is probably about the 1.5 1 range. Is what I'm thinking 1.5 1.6 maybe a little bit higher because of the hype because it's being a new card um, but again guys check out these cards during weekend league rewards tomorrow because there is gonna be an opportunity check out for lightning rounds this Friday so if you do choose to choose to do some flipping on Thursday sell them before Friday just because there may be lightning rounds this weekend I know EA might be a little bit money hungry they might throw up some lightning rounds this weekend so you guys will be very careful about that because with lightning rounds obviously you guys know you guys get more supply I'm happy that we've got new cards on ultimate team and then we've got stuff to look at Guys, I really appreciate you all coming and watching the video today. All the links are going to be in the description below. Twitter, Twitch, uh, and Instagram, which is now run the foot market. You guys can get over there and check that out. Drop a comment in the, in, in the comment section below, guys. Just letting me know, out of this team, if there's one player that you guys want to go into FIFA and use, who is it? For me, uh, with, this, with the new addition of players, I think for me, it's Philip Coutinho or Aaron Moy. I, I, I think that those two look outstanding. And I'm going to try to get my hands on them if I do end up playing a few games this weekend or whether it's just seasons uh, in my downtime, guys. So thank you all for watching uh, today, boys. And uh, I will see you guys in a video soon. Peace out.